No offense, but it feels so good to breathe air that didn't come out of your mouth. None taken. Ooh, I know you're working, but you should probably put something on your screen perverted in case someone comes in, like a lady in high heels stepping on a businessman. Sorry, yes, I meant to do that. I've just gotten so wrapped up in my research, I've been reading the most thrilling footnote. What was that? I don't know. But don't worry. I'll creep them right the hell out of here. Hello? Who's sneaking around back here? Bang, you're dead, and so is Kevin. Oh, thank God, it's just you. Wait, no, this is bad in a different way. What are you doing? You brought my husband to a public place? He's undercover. We're perverts, see? You're not fooling anyone. Kevin Zipper is up, for God's sake. Wait, I'm confused. How did you even know we were here? Oh, my God, you sewed a tracker into my neck, didn't you? Don't be stupid. The trackers are in your shoes, underwear, and wallet. I also braided one into your hair. In my tangle? You put my husband at risk. And for what? Because you felt a little cooped up? That's not it. You could have cost him his life. What life, Raymond? I spend every day lying on the floor of that house talking with Jake about popular culture. Do you know what it means to clap back, Raymond? Because I do. Enough. We have to get back to the safe house immediately. Let's go. And if you're going to be a pervert, Kevin, adjust yourself as you walk. Move some quarters around in your pocket.